Welcome back, everyone. Those who care enough to watch this, I mean. If you don't care, then why are you watching it? But I'm sure you'll tell me in a comment how much this sucks anyway. Oh well, whatever. Uh, anyway, here is our wealth that we've created since the last episode, uh, the start of the last episode. And as you can see, We've created a lot more since the last time. Um, 10,900 dwarf bucks. But we haven't created any weapons yet. So that's something I, need, I still need to address. Because we don't have any military and something can come at any time. Uh, we still haven't exported anything because we missed the last trade caravan but it is now autumn so another one should be coming anytime soon uh, and uh, in the last video I made this um, well I guess you could call it so the dwarves have something to drink but the water is muddy. The dusting of mud, I think, is okay, but uh, small piles of mud or higher, I think, are a problem. But it's only on this tile, which is over on this side. Um, now, I don't think I need to actually do anything, but I'm going to place a well over that, just to make it look nicer and um, it's going to be under machines and fluids. And we only have three ropes. See, it takes a lot of stuff. It takes the block of material. It takes a bucket. It takes a rope. And it takes mechanisms. And I, I'll... I'll um, make I'll, I'll make two of them I guess another thing I will do is place some hatches to cover this side. That way, if dwarves have to go down there, they can open the hatch. But otherwise, it'll be covered up and it might look nicer. Well is operational. Both of them. I don't. I don't know if that looks nicer or not, but oh well. Um, and the tiles directly below the wells only have dustings of mud rather than the small piles. So the water might be all right, from my understanding. Now we set up this, w these work orders in the last uh, video, and I'm going to, I, I want it to a lot more sand because I'm going to um, have these furnaces going as much as possible. 
we don't have a lot of bags, but um, Collect sands. Instead of just 10, I'll, I'll, let's make it 100. Which we, we won't be able to do, but eventually we'll have the bags. And set that. Um, if completed, it'll restart. The amount of items available is at least zero. I don't know if that's uh, if the amount of, is at least one. I think this is referring to the bags. If the amount of bags is at least one, then this will trigger. Let's say two. I don't know. So that should run constantly, forever, hopefully. And we do have these bags filled up, ready to go. But this furnace isn't doing anything. We can set a work order to have them make... Uh, Make green glass blocks. If the amount of refined coal is greater than one, uh, than two, if we have the coal to do it. And if we have the sand to do it, which we do, and if the amount of green glass blocks is less than uh, I don't know, let's say 300. I don't want them to just make 10. I want them to make um, up to, say, 300. But... If it only makes 10 at a time, it'll restart and it'll do it again and again and again until it reaches 300. And if these other conditions are met, we, if we have at least two coal and uh, if the bags are available. So I, I think that's that will be fine. Uh, another thing...
Now see, these work orders are set to specific shops. And you can also create work orders which apply to the entire fortress, which will uh, use any shop that it, that it can, not necessarily any specific one. But we, for the purpose of that, we want it to use this shop specifically. So the work order is for collecting sand is for this one. The work order for making um, blocks is set to this one specifically also. And I, I also wanted... Uh, raw green glass. I wanted to make that forever also, because I'm going to make that into gems, and I... If the amount of green glass available is less than 10... It's less... less I don't know, let's say 20. And if the amount of sand bearing items is greater than one, and the amount of coal is greater than two, I guess. I, the reason I don't set one is because I might want something to to have a higher priority for that coal if the if there's only one coal so this this furnace collects the sand this furnace should be making raw glass blocks and and the raw glass, whatever, and but let's say we want another furnace uh, to make more other kinds of things. And then we can set that up. Now, this stockpile that so the uh, so this one can have it right next to it but that is filling up with raw glass and I just wanted that to be the coal to, f to run the uh, thing. I'll make a different okay that this is the, how you box select I think and then this it paints the each tile individually I see that's why I I, uh, I didn't know that before I, I, I should have read, read it more carefully 
But anyway, we're going to create a new uh, stockpile. that and that will f be that other stuff that um, just the rough not the cut Now, as for the blocks, um, those are going to fill up, uh, we're going to use them for construction purposes. Now, one thing I've learned in the last few days is there is there are advanced options for digging that uh, there's a blueprint mode which I've never used before which can be useful when you want to lay out the designs for your fortress um, and you can also set priorities uh, for for the mining. Like, say you want this to be the highest priority, so you could set that to say one, as opposed to the the medium. Or you can have low priorities. Like, we don't. Let's say this. We want to mine this out, this box site, but. It's a low priority, so we could set that to seven. That way the miners, they'll focus on what's most important, and then when they're finished with that, then then they'll focus on the lower priority stuff. So that this is good if, if you want certain things to be done as a priority over other things. Now, another thing is, uh, this is in DF Hack also um, you can set it to dig only ore and gems and auto mine out entire veins uh, dig only ore and gems or you can have just gems Auto. Okay, so this lemonite. Well, actually, the lignite. Well, it's, if I'm correct, what will happen is they'll come and mine this. Let's set that to two so that they'll do that first. They'll come and mine this. And if more of that is discovered in here, then it'll auto automatically yeah see it'll it'll take care of everything automatically so this is very convenient to get this all mined out and that way I don't have to micromanage it the way I was doing it was stupid you know my, my micromanaging it that I shouldn't have been doing it like that this is the right way to do it now hopefully if they do hit magma or an aquifier they'll auto stop instead of mining that too i don't know if that's true or if they will or not i hope i assume they will I want this coal mined out because we 
are using it. A lot for the for the glass stuff. Yeah, see they did stop. There is an aquifer here. And they stopped automatically. Hematite is being smelted. Wait, what's going on? Okay, the caravan has arrived. And the Baron Consort, Zephon, uh, the same guy as last year, is back. And he's going to come and talk to us about stuff. Now, I remember last year he said they requested thread. But we haven't, we have not produced any thread. I don't think thread is worth a lot either. Uh, I'm going to set up another farmer's workshop somewhere. I should move this. Move these and I'll put it here and then I'll put them somewhere else. And, and I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a windmill and I'll have a proper millstone. Um, Let's make two millstones. Make some rock. Oh, I should use the work orders for that. I could set to specific types of stone, like say chert or whatever, but as long as it's non-economic, then that's going to be fine. I just don't want the good stone to be wasted. It restarts if completed. Okay. mugs also if the amount of empty rock mugs available is less than 
Ten, sure. Sure. Well, I can, I can find tune that more, but... Okay, let's just set this to the regular digging and mine out a bunch more. Oh! Doesn't need to be a two priority. Because I'll put some other shops here. What the hell is Sard? Must be some kind of gem or something. They'll get they'll get to that eventually. Um I'll cancel the repeat on it because we got tons of ore. But what we don't have so much is coke. Make it from bituminous coal and lignite. If the amount of coke is less than 10 or If we have any amount greater than one. In fact, I don't, we don't even need that. J this should be good enough. If there's any amount greater than one, just do it. Just get rid of it. Same goes for this. If there's any lignite greater than one, just burn it up to coke. Because that's the only purpose it can be used for, so that's what it will do. Uh, we got lots of ash. Uh, we don't need to make any more charcoal right now. Um... Now another thing that that ash can be used to make pot ash. So the wood goes here, it gets burned into ash, and then the ash goes here. And then... We have an ashery. Which will... Uh, take that ash and turn it into pot ash which we can use for fertilizer. 
Okay, that diplomat wants to talk to us. Um, there is much to share. Information is now added to the civilization's world info. Now, I'll, hopefully I'll remember to check that, if there's anything interesting going on. Um, next year's caravan, we can make requests. Um, now, wood is always going to be an issue for us. We're in a desert. We have some, but probably never going to be as much as we want. So I could request that. But logs are pretty heavy, though. And the caravans can only haul so much. So you can easily overload them by, request, by carrying too much of this stuff and not anything else. So I'll... Just leave that alone for now. Uh, blocks, we are sufficient in blocks. Now the thing is about blocks, um, say the blocks are made out of a certain type of stone, like marble, which is flux, which you need to make steel. Um, if it's in the form of a block, it can never be used for that original purpose like you can get coal blocks or lignite blocks but once they're converted into blocks that's it they're blocks forever and you cannot use them for what they were meant to be originally so there and we can make our own blocks so why, there's no reason we would should do that Uh, hopefully we have enough seeds. Uh, we can make our own anvils, weapons. I want to make my own weapons. And I should do that sooner rather than later. Um, ammo. Uh, we could request some bolts, but I think I can make my own. Now we can request animals. But I, I, I think we are fine on that. Drinks. I just want to request stuff that I don't ha that I can't get on my own. You know, like I could request. Uh, I don't know. Now marble. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be heavy though, but it is a flux stone and marble statues are pretty cool so yeah we'll I'll just do that uh, these um, well we can't produce pineapple we can't produce this stuff locally these we can't some dwarves might like pineapple so if they do and they eat it they'll get a happy thought cages we can make our own um, now we are making bags but we don't have as many as I'd like but I think that problem is going to sort itself out in time we could request thread, but uh, that was what they requested of us, so um, it seems weird to request what they uh, had wanted. Yeah, we, we, we got sand, and as a matter of fact, though there's these different colors, they don't actually mean anything it all gets processed exactly the same it just looks different when it's on the map but other than that it don't mean anything 
glass we are handling. Now this here is, yeah, I'll request that. Buckets. Yeah, let's request some buckets. Well, we don't need a million of them. That's just be good, I guess. Uh, clay is another thing. We don't have a source of clay so far, so... Okay. I'm going to request leather, and I don't think it matters what it comes from, what, what type of leather it is. I think it all is the same. Qualitatively, it's all the same. Um, but just for fun, let's request... Um, I don't know, interesting types of leather. No, no, let's not, because it's going to be, it's going to probably be worth more. Something like, say, rhinoceros leather is probably going to be pretty valuable, even though it, it ain't going to be functionally any different. So, that being said... Some more mundane, like this large rat leather might, because it's going to be cheap, but it ain't going to be effectively any different. I don't know. Say yak leather too. I don't know. Whatever. And um, let's go ahead and request some wood. Uh, the blood thorn. In my la uh, last game, on the lowest caverns, these things can grow. And that's the densest type of wood in the game and it's a bright crimson red so it's pretty cool um, if you make bolts out of that since it's the densest wood that those bolts will be a bit more effective alright I'll go with that and we have to pay the premium for that stuff but that's fine. Um, now, he makes his request of us, which is cut gems and backpacks. And that's good because I'm, I'm going to start moving into cutting gems. And I'm going to make synthetic gems out of glass. Hopefully that counts towards that because I'll be doing that. He also wants backpacks, which will take cloth or leather to make. And we might be able to fulfill that, but definitely that one. And he'll pay a premium for it. Okay. And there's merchants there. So let's send the broker and our trade goods. We've got all these shirt amulets now. A bauxite amulet and a microcline amulet. We have bags of sand, which actually worth a little bit. But why though? Why is it worth a hundred 
dwarf books for a bag of sand. Is it the bag itself? I don't think the sand should be worth that much. Maybe it's just a good quality bag. I don't know. Either way, I'm keeping that. So um, We can s sell these barrels, but we need that. We need the seeds. Bends. This is a gym bin. We're not going to sell the gems. Because we're going to polish them first and we'll send them we'll sell them next year. Finished goods though. Yeah, let's move that to the post. We got two bins of finished goods. This one has some stuff that I want to sell, but not everything. We'll send that one also. Uh, these weapons we started off with are made out of copper, which is uh, probably the worst metal as far as weapons go. It, it's the lowest tier of weapons. And we can make iron weapons right now. But I want to make steel weapons, because steel is the best metal for most uh, types of weapons. Uh, we got all these bracelets. Got all these crowns we made. Earrings. Figurines. Okay, we've made these flat flasks. But those are for extracts and stuff, so we want to hold on to those. Goblets. Uh, well, we don't need all of them. So let's keep the glass ones though, because they're nicer. So all these rings, scepters. Okay, statues. Now these, um, I think they're going to be pretty heavy. So the, the caravans have a limit on how much they're able to carry. So that limits how much you can sell to them. And since statues are pretty heavy, that's going to, uh, might be a problem. Um, but let's send these cheap 30 buck ones because I want to save the best ones for our own purposes. Actually, this, uh, this green glass one's worth more because it's made out of green glass. But it's just basic quality. You know what, I'll just send all of them and I, I'll sell what I can and that'll be that. Okay, so there's 180 one items that we need to transport to the depot 
We attracted no migrants. One of our buffaloes has grown to an adult. Well, it's only one. It's an adult. No. It's not right, is it? Stray water buffalo bull, stray water buffalo cow, stray water buffalo cow, stray water buffalo calf. Um, it still shows the image of a of it being a calf, though. but no, it's only one. I guess. Um, I guess that means it's now an adult, though. But this is going to be a problem because uh, there might be some incest. They might, I don't know. I don't think it changes anything, but that's going to be weird. If, if that starts to, if she starts to give birth, then, because they're all related, so that, but I don't think it means anything in the game, though, but it... Well, anyway, I guess that means she can be milked now. Now that she's an adult. Struck turquoise. Okay, everything has been transported to the depot. So let's start trading. This is the st stuff we requested last year. And we have to pay a premium for it, but it's uh, pretty cheap stuff. So even with the premium, it's still not that much. I will buy this rope. Or at least the cheap one. We can buy a water buffalo. Or a yak. But we already have our own stuff, so that's going to be good enough. I will buy these barrels of lye. A steel pick is very expensive, so I'll pass on that. The chicken... clicked. Chicken leather bag is cheap and it does the, as good a job as anything else so that's good. Uh, pigtail cloth we need to buy cloth because our clothing industry is coming along just fine. Meat. We don't have any meat. I haven't butchered or hunted anything, so let's go ahead and buy that because 
dwarves like a variety in their diet, and I don't know, some dwarves might like to eat lion, tripe, whatever that is. Fish, same thing. We haven't, we don't have any water on this map, so we can't get it. And it's pretty cheap, too, so why not? Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy it. I'll go ahead and buy that. And that. Backpacks. We'll start making our own stuff. But I'll buy this qui this quiver. Because it's cheap. Cheese, why not? And okay, I'll buy the crutch too. Um, gems. I don't know. Kind of expensive, and we'll, we'll we'll get our own. So now let's see how what we want to give in return, because we the value of. That stuff is 1,922 dwarf bucks. And as it is, the trader would lose all that because we're not we haven't offered anything in return. So he would refuse this offer. And this loud weight limits how much his caravan can carry. So we'll offer these goblets. Uh, these statues are pretty heavy. See, 159 units of weight each, each one. So if we select all that, now you see how that ate up all, almost all of the allowed weight. So that that's what I was saying. Um. Here's a green glass die that I made. Now we could set this whole bin. We could give them the whole bin, but then we lose the bin with it. Instead of doing that, you can manually just give the items, and that way you get to keep the bin and reuse it. And when you buy bins from the, from the merchant, you get you get that bin as well as the items in it. So that's one trick where you can uh, get and conserve your bins, but it requires manually doing this. Now, see, his loss is going down. But he doesn't even, even breaking even is not what he wants to do. Because he wants to make a profit, because he's a merchant, and trading is all about making a profit. So it's got to be in the green to some degree. And um, that's where the broker's skill comes into play, because the better skilled your broker is, the easier it is to get the merchants to agree um, with the trades. Now, see, he's making a profit now, uh, but it's only 120, 102 dwarf bucks, and it is yellow now. And if I hit trade, uh, he might or might not accept that. But if he refuses, it's going to make... He'll be irritated and uh, it's not a good thing. It'll make it harder to work out 
another any agreement with them at all. And if you if you anger the merchants too much, they'll just leave without trading anything. So and until this gets in the green, I don't want to make an offer yet. Because he, he might get insulted by this offer as it stands right now. Because he's because even though he's making a profit, it's not uh, so much of a profit that he might consider it worth his time to have come all this way, you know? Another thing you can do is you can offer a gift of um, you offer stuff but without asking anything in return you can offer it as a gift and that um, is a way to make them make the merchants happier if you want to improve the your relations with them see this item here Having selected that, changed it from yellow to green. So that means he it is now certain that he will accept this trade. So if I click trade, he'll accept it as it is. It's guaranteed that he will accept it. But the higher his profit is, the happier he will be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna even give more than that. Than what? Uh, Because I want him to be happy. Um, to uh, I think it. Well, that's this is probably good enough. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna keep making more stuff, but anyway, you get the idea. He should be very happy by this, hopefully. So let let's see. See, he's willing to trade. The more irritated you make him, um, the less willing he will be. And you, you know what? I'm gonna. I don't. I don't need to. I'm gonna keep making more stuff. So let's just get his profit up higher. Let's see how happy he'll be. He's going to make over 2,000 profit. So let's hit trade. Now you see, he is very happy about the trading. And now I could have offered more and he could have been ecstatic or even more happy. going to offer him a gift of I'm not going to ask anything in return I'm just going to offer a thousand let's say a thousand worth of stuff I don't know I Cause I, I already bought out it. Oh, I didn't buy everything, but I bought everything from him I really care about. So there, over a thousand. And I'm just going to offer that to him without anything in return. Oh, it doesn't go to him. It goes to the leader. Um. But you see, he is a merchant from, he's a dwarf merchant, he's from our civilization. And you can also get merchants from humans and elves. Um, 
and I, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't think you can trade with goblins or whatever. But uh, anyway, um, let's say we was trading with elves, for example. Um, you can end up, go, your civilization can go to war with them. And, um, we don't want that. So anyway, uh, Okay, this is the stuff that's going on in the world. News and rumors. Now, we are over here on this continent, but there's nothing really going on here, weirdly enough. But over here and over here, there is. Uh, see, these are elves here. And um, if we had... If we had our squad set up, we could send them to raid, pillage, raise, you know, we could do all this stuff, steal their livestock, etc. Um, yeah, I, I don't know too much about all this stuff, how to do it or whatever. Um, that's something to worry about in the future. But anyway, that's for the for, we're done for this year pretty much. I I still have a lot more goods and I'll I'm still making more before they leave, but we've already bought them out pretty much and we we even offered a gift so to their leader. So uh we're, we're done with them until next year okay the prepare easy meals is done hopefully I have that set to it restarts if completed okay it's fine all right I wanted to Make more uh, farmers workshops. We can tweak that if we need to, but that's fine, I guess. Now, see how th this is all being taken care of um, on its own? This would have been, took forever to micromanage. So that, that's, that's the beauty of using that uh, advanced uh, mining. Oh, we got more lignite here.
I'm not in any hurry to breach the caverns just yet. We have tons of coal and stuff, so our furnaces should be running a long time. Yeah, it's going to be a long time before we... Uh, ...finish mining all this. Okay, we'll mine out all this gypsum. Okay, our dining um, hall. Uh, now we, we're making those mugs. And uh, we need somewhere to put them in the dining hall. So I don't I don't know if cabinets serve any purpose, but we'll put one there, and the chest we'll put a chest also, and we'll we'll make another stockpile right here. Matter of fact, let's extend this one. And this one This one is going to be for prepared meals. And this one will be prepared drinks. So there will be food and drinks in this dining hall. I don't know if cabinets serve any purpose, but I, I've ma I made it a habit to uh, put cabinets basically in every room. Um, even whether it, it needs to be or not, I, I just have the habit of doing that. Now, if you select keep building after placement, that means that... Really? We don't have any thrones? I'm going to put down another workshop, stone workers workshop. Another church blocks. Wait a minute. Something's going on. One of our Marx dwarves is fighting a vulture woman and a vulture man. The flying copper bolt strikes the vulture woman in the lower body, tearing the muscle 
and tearing the guts. Jeez, I wouldn't want to be that vulture woman right now. The vulture woman looks sick. Well, can't say I blame her considering what just happened to her. The copper bolt has lodged firmly in the wound. Ustuth Im Gosh Gostuth Mark's dwarf. I have improved my crossbow. Now, see this dwarf, uh, I haven't set up my military yet, so this must be one of the merchants that's fighting this vulture woman. I have improved my crossbow. As they come, as, as they do stuff like that, they will level up their skill, and as you can see, he has improved his crossbow and he feels satisfied because he's leveling up his skill. I have a part in this. This might require an answer. The flying copper bolt strikes the vulture woman in the lower body, tearing the muscle and tearing the left kidney. An artery has been opened by the attack. Ustuth Imgashustuth Mark's dwarf. I have a part in this. This might require an answer. The flying copper bolt strikes the vulture woman in the lower body, tearing the muscle and tearing the guts. The vulture woman looks even more sick. The flying copper bolt strikes the vulture woman in the right upper leg, tearing the muscle and bruising the bone. A tendon has been torn. The flying copper bolt strikes the vulture man. Oh, that was the vulture. This one is also a vulture man. There, there's both a vulture woman and a vulture man. Chipping the bone. A tendon has been torn. And he's entered into... The dwarf that's shooting them has entered into a martial trance. Um, now these are the bolts that he's shot and uh, I think we can we can claim them now uh, stuff like ammo when it's shot it automatically becomes forbidden with this lock symbol and this is to prevent your dwarves from running out into the middle of combat to retrieve stuff, because they'll get into trouble if they do that. But if you unforbid it, then they can, it can be retrieved. Um, so I think this, these bolts can be ours now, even though that merchant fired them. There's another one right here. And that, that's fine. I don't have any bolts, so uh, I'll take them. But this just shows that we need to get our military up and running. That's We're not prepared for anything at the moment. But the, yeah, the merchants are leaving soon. And uh, these orders have been filled, but they'll repeat, I think. We've made a masterpiece amulet and two mugs. See what's going on with the uh, vulture people. Ah, uh, yeah, the vulture woman. There's a whole swarm of them. There's a 
bunch of vulture people somewhere. She is terrified while in conflict. I wonder if she's the one that got injured. This one's got... This, it's like it's this... Overcome by terror. Did they even do anything to that dwarf that... Why did he shoot? start shooting him? He is terrified while in conflict. He is afraid after experiencing trauma. Well, why don't they just fly away? Why are they even here? I don't get it. He feels hopeless after suffering a major injury. He's got blood. His own blood, I guess. His ability to stand has been lost. His right upper leg is broken. His right upper leg is cut open. His Well, get the hell out of here. Jeez, what the hell are you doing? Now that... He might survive, though, if he gets out of here. But that vulture woman, though, without some sort of medical treatment she's she uh her guts and her kidney have been pierced she's without any kind of treatment she's done for that's her right here i think uh she's got bolts stuck in her body now if she dies and falls to the ground then uh, we can retrieve the bolt, I think. I, I, well, I'm sorry this happened to you, but what the hell are you even doing here? I don't understand this. See, these, these animal people are supposed to be sentient, unlike regular animals. But that doesn't mean they're smart. Her lower body is cut open. Her low left kidney is broken. Her guts is broken. It's a person with the head and wings of a vulture. She has bad intuition. Well, I would say so. Because she thought flying here was a good idea. And obviously it isn't. Well, I'm sorry this happened to you, but uh, what can I do? There's nothing I can do about this. I don't know who provoked the fight and why, but he's still shooting. Well, at least there's a lot of 
free uh, bolts I'm getting here. Ustuth. Ustuth. Yeah, he's with the merchants, definitely. Why don't you just leave? I, the rest of your guys are leaving. Why are... Uh, oh, well. And we're probably going to hear that these vulture people are going to end up dead. There's nothing I can do about that. It didn't auto mine the gypsum. Auto. I'm going to make this an office. Like I had done on the other floors. Now the spear dwarf has gotten involved. The the vulture people aren't e don't even seem to be offering any resistance. They're just taking the punishment. They're not fighting. They're not. They're not giving any offense in return. Nor are they fleeing like they should. It's just stupid. Now it's mining the gypsum out fully like I wanted it to. Uh, I'll make this an office. Because I didn't know what else to do with it. Extra squares. And I like to keep the bedrooms... Uh, even so that dwarves don't get like jealous or whatever because if dwarves have if one dwarf has a room that's a lot better than another they might be envious of that damn it that vulture woman stole one of the lobsters I bought I now see here I was feeling sorry for those vulture people and then they go and steal that stuff from me and I didn't even do anything to them. Well, maybe they deserve to be killed then, I don't know. This stuff needs to be hauled below ground so that it can't be stolen like that. are all over the place. They're still fighting. There's blood. But so far I haven't I don't get a message that any of them have died. Oh, they did. One of them did die. 
A vulture woman's mutilated corpse. And there's also... Here's her left hand. Um, and since these are sentient beings, they can't be butchered. But they can um, eventually rot. I think the bones, or at least some of them, can, the bones can be used eventually. Yeah, I'm not surprised she died because she was in bad shape. She wasn't the one that stole the lobster, though. That what, Whoever that was uh, flew off the map. Where would bags of sand be under? I want to put the bags of sand here, but I don't know what category that is. to have the bags of sand there. Sand bag. But what category is that? Oh well, I don't know. It's close enough to them, so I guess that's fine. Man, those, they, they keep stealing my stuff. And even though they're getting killed, they're still taking the time to steal. Oh well, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, let's make a a jeweler. Just one. Let's make it 
Oh, but I, I'll use up the, all the shirt. Doesn't matter what we make it out of. But I, the glass is more valuable, so I want to hold on to that. This stockpile is filling up. Cut raw glass into gems and repeat that forever. Let's make another jeweler. Two uh, for the regular gyms, I guess. We don't need to do that. Just set this one to also have, because there's not going to be a lot of gems, so might as well just make it be all. So the rough. rough stuff and they're going to polish it and uh, there's no there's no quality to the, the polishing work so skill might make it go faster or slower but it don't affect the quality of the end product. Uh, these are worth 40 dwarf bucks. Whereas the, the raw uncut ring glass is only worth 12 dwarf bucks. So by poli so taking something that's worth 12 and then polishing it, you get something that's worth 40. So that's quite a uh, increase in value. And it, it doesn't stop there either because then you can take those polished gems and then you can encrust them onto um, finished goods or furniture or whatever to make them even more valuable. Uh, okay, we got one that's making um, it's cutting raw glass around the clock. Let's make another one for the other, for the natural gems. Until we've exhausted them. Okay, like I said, I want this to be an office. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sign a m military 
militia commander. None of our dwarves have any relevant skills for that, though. I want to assign somebody that's actually going to be good at that position, but I don't know who that would be. Now, th this guy's a bow, a bow year here. just give it to anybody but our fortress um, we only got 18 people and none of them are really uh, to the task She has very bad analytical abilities. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to get the military up and running, but S here's Silt, which isn't Marcus' site. I wonder what that even is. I'm going to mine it all out. Turquoise. I'm going to mine all this out. Now see how it did all that automatically? That was very, very nice. No, not having to micromanage. Um, okay, our bars and stuff is all doing its thing. Uh, we we want to make weapons. I want to make steel weapons. But I don't have flux stone. But in the meantime, we can make iron, which isn't as good, but Let's make an iron crossbow and iron bolts. We can set up a mark, we can make a marks dwarf guy, like that one that was, uh... okay, one of our buffalo's been stung again by a bee. And that'll happen, but what can you do? There's lots of that kaolinite. Um, let's also make an iron battle axe, iron mace, iron pick, let's make iron one of everything. Mm -hmm. 
It's not going to be the best material, but it's the best that we can do at the moment. Marcus site. It isn't anything special. It just has a weird color is all. Can't do anything special with it. Okay, we mined all this out of me. I don't know how they got... I guess they can travel diagonally through the wall there. That gypsum went in quite a ways. Brimstone. I just wonder... Uh, This is brimstone. Yeah, it's no, nothing special. Still don't have flux stone. So I can't make steel yet. Oh well, I... Maybe I'll find some flux stone in one of these layers or something, hopefully. <sighs> Still no... Uh, now I actually want to get migrants because I want to get somebody who um, can be a militia commander. Otherwise I just got to appoint anyone at random. One of our dwarves is upset about something. It's a child, but why? She was horrified, reliving seeing a vulture woman die. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I. That's why she's upset. Well, I don't blame her. I don't. I didn't want that to happen.
She was relieved while crying on somebody in charge. I wish I could uh, see the. It's rotted. It's rotted down. Uh, I don't know any way to. I wish you could bury them, but I don't know how. Tiger Eye and Sardonyx. Those are gems. I don't care about that right now. Uh, Plant two bag and process. Plant two barrel and process. Plants two vial. Now, see, this one is taking care of animals. This one is just handling the thread stuff. But there's other ways that plants can be processed, and we're not currently doing that because I'm an idiot and hadn't set it up right until now. So we need empty bags. Um, If the amount of empty bags is greater than one, is I think this is the end product of the refining. If it's less than, I don't know, tw let's say 20. If the amount of seeds available is less than 10, okay, might as well. Because doing that process will extract the seeds. And we have there's certain things we haven't processed yet that we need the seeds for, probably. Like the quarry bush and certain things. And eventually the, the plants rot if you don't get to them in time. And, and we probably... Because I took so long to do this, we probably lost a lot already. Yeah, that, that seems fine. Now this is pretty much the same thing except with barrels. Unrotten processable plant to barrel. Uh, I'll lower it to three. Amount of unrotten. If it's greater. Then there's the vials. We, we've created two uh, glass vials, but I don't know if uh, if it's greater than one. Amount of unrotten accessible. Just do it if you can. We 
weave thread into cloth. If the amount of cloth, I'm going to change that to daily. If the amount of cloth available is less than 10, if the amount of unused collected plant thread available is greater than Yeah, but I, I, uh, we need a windmill. We need windmills. We have 116 shirt blocks, and we got 43 glass blocks. So I can start to do some construction stuff right now. Dig all that out. Now this spot is out of the way. the windmill mill over here it would be out of the way of everything but the thing is the windmills are made out of wood and wood can be destroyed fairly easily so I want to build them on the platform of blocks so that they're out of the way They're three by three. I'll build them out of glass, why not?
the center tile of the windmill needs to have a channel. That's not right. It would be here. That would be there. Then this. Maybe I did have it right. I don't know. I. I it would be here. Then the one. Yeah, I did have it right. To begin with. I was thinking. So the center tile would be here. Something like that. I don't need I I don't think I probably don't need two wind windmills. But, uh, I don't know. Also, I build a ramp out of glass, I guess. Why not? Put some floor down here. And that ramp is so they can get up here to work on the floor. Okay, what are these camels doing? Well, we got a lot of digging and stuff going on. This is, in the meantime, um, let's put that quern thing back up.
I need to stop designating more mining jobs because hey, there's so much stuff. Uh, I'm gonna cancel a lot of this stuff because I, I want them to focus on. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's right. I can prioritize what I want them to do. If this is five, then it's they're not gonna do it as a high priority. done I want it done now do that right now number one priority and it's soil so it'll move fast but there's a lot of it to go through Um, I set a pick to be made so I can assign another miner, but we don't have a... Oh. Okay, we got another dwarf, but it's just a, a baby, so it ain't going to be doing anything anytime soon. That one dwarf child is still upset. She saw that dead vulture woman, and she was crying, literally crying That's why she is here. The rest either didn't see it or it didn't bother them, but it bothered her. Okay, they're done. Um, This can be dug out also. It's not a priority, but might as well do it. This guy's trapped. That's, that's, that, this is something that can happen. Or, or no, he's sleeping. He was sleeping in that hole. But why? Okay, because I want the... I want the windmills to... the axle to come down into to here, and it will be able to mill where we grow stuff. Instead of having to haul the plants up several floors, this way we can... Uh, Might as well... I'm thinking put a staircase in here. I don't know where to put it, but... Anyway, let's finish off that wall. Out of glass. 
Or no, I don't need, I don't, I, what am I, what am I thinking? It's got to go here. The windmills are three by three. Yeah. Uh, and I can mine this out. If they can get to it, which they might not even be able to. Oh well, I don't know. Let's build the windmill. Here. It needs ground. Or near a machine. Maybe I gotta put the axle first. I don't know. Vertical axle. Yeah, there's no axis here. But that's not... We don't want the axle on this floor because this floor... Where the millstone is going to be. And it, I don't, it doesn't matter what the mechanism is. Yeah, so that will be there. The axles will be there. We need a way to get up here, though. stairs uh, I just want to get the stairs away from these whatever
Okay, we got stairs coming up to here. It's not um, doing this, but I, I can just have them come down through here this way. Inactive. Um. Yeah, put them there. Now the thing is, um, these holes, stuff can fall through there. Even with these axles in there, your dwarves, I think, can fall through the holes. But it would only happen if they are standing near there. And if they, let's say they got into combat and they dodged or something, then they could fall into that hole. It's very unlikely it would ever happen, but it could. And they, they'd fall several f floors and potentially die or get hurt or something. That's why I want it all out of the way as much as possible. Um, we might need to also put... axles here. No, there's no access. No access to logs, it says. But no, I don't know. I hopefully, hopefully now we can put the windmill here. Um, it's got... I can't put it on the construction. Really, it won't let me do that? Maybe I gotta build it on the ground then. I didn't want to, because if it's on the ground, stuff can destroy it. I wanted to build it on the platform. And each windmill takes four logs. So apparently you can't build it on the platform. It's on constructions. It has to be on the ground. I didn't know that. Now I do. 
I could probably build a wall around it, though, to protect it. All right, total power is 40. Now we got 80. I, I don't, I don't need this much power to. Uh, there, it's turning, turning, and these millstones are operating. Okay. Um, let's put work orders to mill. Amount of millable unrotten plants is greater than 10. Sure, why not? Sure. I'm going to lower that to 3. Why not? I'll lower that to 5. Okay. You can mill seeds into paste. Um, but that destroys the seed. So you got to be careful with that. The amount of gob available is less than glob. Is less than two. I'll set it to that. If the amount of unrotten oil bearing seeds is less than three, that way it No, uh, having it at 10 was fine, because we, this way it won't use more than 10. And it will restart if completed, okay. And we can put a stockpile around it there of um, well, ideally, uh, ideally stuff that can be milled. Wheat can, I think. Barley. As far as seeds go, uh, rock nuts. I know can be milled into to extract the oil. I, 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 I can fine-tune it later, but I don't know what's what, really. Now, as you can see, this dwarf is... He's, oh, that's a child. He's just playing. Well, he brought a barrel... Uh, Now, speaking of barrels, um, let's get rid of that. Make wooden barrels. If the amount of empty barrels is less than 10,
okay. It's fine. And because we got we got all this wood here, might as well use it. And the same goes for bins. And additionally, let's make let's make uh, let's make ten wheelbarrows, and that's just a one-time order because you only need so many. Of them. Sand out. Okay, what's our stock looking like on bags? We've got eight sheep wool. We only got twelve pigtail bags, so they're not being made as much as I would have liked. Um, weave thread into cloth. Died. If it's greater than one, just do it. Okay, well, here's the problem. I didn't have it set to make cloth bags or anything. If the amount of cloth bags is less than well, I want I want a lot of them, so I'm going to set this to thirty. Check daily. Okay. If the amount of unused plant cloth available. greater than 10. See, the reason that 7 dipped down into a 6 means that a dwarf must have uh, took a bucket out of the well. So those wells I built are being used. Um, and I can see why, because we're out of drinks. So let's get that going. Why isn't it going? That's a good question. If the amount of drinks available is less than... Checked monthly? No. Check it. Daily. Check daily. And... You know what? Make it at 
I get 200. Stuff's not doing its job. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be working automatically, but stuff's not working. Plant to barrel. Watch this plant to bag. Okay. Honey from honeycomb. Liquid available is less than ten. I don't know. Yeah, this is the one that it, it, you do it by hand, it's extremely slow. Okay, plump helmets are planted here. We really have a problem with uh, dimple cups. There's no seeds. We might have screwed up because we might not have... All of our harvests might have been left to rot because we didn't um, have it set to be processed it, until until now. So it probably sat and rotted. Yeah, we got eighty. But nobody's doing anything, though. Um. Problem is, we only got 19 dwarves, but we got all this stuff that isn't being done because they're doing other stuff. This is only a downward staircase. Build it out of Well, we're in the winter now, so stuff ain't isn't going to grow. That that might be the problem. I can I can check the stocks. What kind of plants do we have at, or seeds at the moment? We have 292 plants. We got a lot of barley. We do have stuff wheat and bushes we have 82 seeds 
but 30 of them are these things that only grow on the surface. Uh, oh, we only got one rock nut. This is a rock nut. And that's because it got processed at this shop. Now we, that's the problem. We're not processing the stuff to get the seeds out of it. This is all just dirt, so it ain't going to be anything useful. But I can still clear it out to set up uh, more growing areas if I want to. The amount of items maybe we can't process it because we don't have enough bags. daily. Daily restart. If the amount is greater than one. Oh, uh, you saw that? Did you see that bucket come down? Okay, now we're in spring, so now we can grow more stuff. So whatever was holding us back might work out now, because you can grow a lot more in the spring than... Uh, Okay, pigtails are being processed. And that will give us uh, both the seeds and thread. So hopefully we, that, that's, maybe this was the, uh, the problem in our supply chain. Maybe we got this worked out now. make another farm plot here just for thread pigtails
So we got the two that we started off with. Uh, this one, which is now, it's no longer a calf, it's a cow. And then there's two babies. And this is the... No, oh, that's one year old, it can't be that one. That one's also one year old. Well, this, that was probably an old, uh, and I missed it, an old announcement or something. But anyway, this one at the bottom is probably the most recent one. I don't know if it says anything about who the parent was. It would be weird if that was born to its own sibling. That would be weird. And I should set up uh, nest boxes and stuff, but I don't know. They are growing on the stuff on the surface. to put a door here. And some hatches to cover these stairs. To give some level of security here. Because the thing is, if these windmills are destroyed, there's going to be a hole where things can come down into here. I can't really do anything. I can't block. There's nothing I can do because that axle has to come down. That's what. That's the reason why I wanted to build these on the platform. I wanted to build up and then build it on top, but I, it, it won't let me do that. It has to be built on the ground. But I can build a wall around it, though. But you would you would think that building a wall would obstruct the wind. We can test and see if that's actually the case. You would think it would. Now it's generating 80 total, 80 total power. So each one is doing 40, and we are only using 24 of that. So we can use this, the power we're generating for. I only needed to build one windmill. I could have powered both of those millstones with one. So why did, I didn't need to build two? I just thought, you know, to, I thought I was going to do it for future proofing or something, but there was no need to do that. Uh, why, isn't that that merchant guy, why, is he still here? Why would he still be here? The giant louse has been knocked unconscious. This is a giant louse. 
corpse. It is spattered with giant louse ichor. Okay, and why was it why was that Mark's dwarf that should have left in the autumn? Why is he still here in the spring? I don't get that. This might be a bug or something in the game, because you'd think that these merchants never left. He's seriously injured. This this is some kind of bug or something. Uh, they're not they're not supposed to still be here they should have left months ago uh Aren't you guys leaving? They're just wandering around, they're not leaving. Okay, whatever. I don't I, that's that's this is a bug or something. It's not right. No, don't go in, you idiot. They sealed themselves in. Okay, one of the babies has grown to become a child. And that's one of the ones trapped here. Even though he, he's just a child, he has a beard, it looks like. I don't... in here. But anyway, it did not, building that wall did not affect the power of the windmills. So now we know. Hopefully somebody will come and save them before they starve to death here. Okay, somebody's coming right now. I set this to restrict it.
Whenever he gets out of there, I'll finish the wall. Or I probably could put a door there and forbid it. Still no, no migrants have been attracted. Maybe it's because our, uh, our wealth hasn't... Our exported wealth is none. Even though we had that trade with the merchants, um, it's, it's because the merchants haven't left the map. They're just... And I don't know what to do about this. They're, they're probably just going to stay here until something comes and kills, eventually kills them. I, I, don't, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Still never use these shops. Come on, get the hell out of here. I forbid the area, but they still... Well, eventually he's gonna. Oh, he's gone. No, no, he's not gone. Come on, get out of there. Eventually he's gonna have to eat or something. Stupid kid. Another one of the buffaloes has grown to an adult. Oh, we struck platinum. Now that is very valuable. Set these to auto mine. Jade Cluster. Bauxite. Tetrahedrite. More coal. We got a lot of platinum nuggets in this vein. Now, see, this is very, these nuggets are very heavy. 2,140 units of weight. And even the nuggets are worth 100 dwarf bucks each. 
Now, that's even before they are turned into bars. And when they're converted into bars, then they're going to be worth even more than that. We'll, we'll never run out of coal anytime soon because this map's full of it on various levels. Both bituminous and lignite. But I'm not seeing any flux stone. Oh well, I don't know. I wanted to set my military up, but um, I don't have anybody. That is. Really relevant for, and my my population isn't. I'm not attracting any mer uh, migrants because the merchants aren't aren't exporting wealth to that would. Because of some stupid bug that they're just lingering on the map. It, it's probably because of those stupid vultures. They screwed up everything. They attacked when the merchants were leaving, and then as a result, the merchants never left as they should have. Well, I didn't want that to happen. But this game might be ruined now because I can't... It, it, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe if I wait till next year, it'll work it, itself out. Next autumn when the, the same caravan that should... I don't know. But somebody's pissed off. And I don't blame them the way things are going here. Um, this child is pissed off. Fantastic dining room. That's blissful. Embarrassed after sleeping without a proper room. Yeah, I still need to set up the bedrooms. Memories... Uh, yeah, that... Why is she upset now, though? I don't... Why aren't drinks being made? I'm going to remove this as a condition. Is greater than... If it's any amount greater than one, use it. And it's being made.
Oh, we've struck uh, gold. That's cool. Magnetite. I think that's a type of iron. Saltpeter. It isn't anything. But I know, I think it's something that can be used in real life for gunpowder. But, uh, gunpowder is, doesn't exist in this game, so. Mine is bloodstone clusters and that. Well, we're, we got a lot of gems coming. Uh, oh, oh. What is this? What is he doing? Putting the buffalo into the pasture. Okay. Well, that child finally left, so I can ball this off. With the, with the wall, it should be safe. I don't think it'll be a problem. here so let's clear that up and this is silt silty clay I don't think I don't know if you can I don't know if that counts as clay or not That is clay, then that's a source of clay. But if it's not, then it's not. This is just silt. But this is silty clay, which is something different. Summer's arrived. Let's put a kiln here. See if we can collect clay. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to set a clay collection zone. And you don't need a big area, even one tile would be sufficient. If this doesn't work, we'll get an error, and it will. No, it works. Okay, we got a source of clay, and uh, we 
can now make clay stuff. I, I can have this run infinitely. Now, the thing is, sand, uh, you need to have bags to put the sand in. But clay doesn't need to be in a bag. It, it just creates these big balls that you can, uh, whatever. Now, another workshop, um, another kiln here, I guess, out of, we, we can build it out of, we probably can build it out of that clay, but I'll do it out of the chert. And and this will be. Bars of coal, potash, no, I don't need to put the clay because it's going to be right here anyway. Um, I can make bricks. Now, clay stuff isn't really worth that much, and um, you can make large pots or jugs or uh, make large clay pots, jugs, or jugs. But then, but if you want to put liquid in them, then you, you have to glaze them. And that requires an, an additional step. But um, anyway, let's make whatever. Let's make uh, let's make a, a pot and um, a jug on repeat and bricks I guess also and um, statue why not now this silty clay uh, it is no different than any other clay the only type of clay that is any special is that kaolinite which makes porcelain which is worth more now, see, we made this pot, and it is superior quality, but it's not glazed, so that means it um, cannot hold liquids. If we want it to hold liquids, then we have to glaze it. Glaze jugs and pots. Um, the crafts can also be glazed, but unless it's holding liquids, I don't think it matters. No, there's still no migrants. We need 
X4 bags. All right, we ran out of the rough gems. But we're continually making glass. So, well, that'll... Man, our plants are... Okay, he's taking ash from our ash tree and this unglazed earthenware jug and they're in the kiln right now and it should be glazed. Um, this is a finely crafted earthenware jug. It is glazed with ash glaze. So now it can be used to store liquids and honeybee royal jelly from our beehive has been placed in there. But the royal jelly Royal Jelly is only worth one dwarf bucket. It's not really anything great or anything. I mean, it's worth a lot to the bees themselves, but to uh, dwarfs, it's not worth anything. Okay, we got tons of uh, clay here. We got... I mean, this is a lot. So I can just pause that job because it, that, it, it'll take them a long time to use up all this clay. Because they don't need bags to, to do that. So this is easy to just build up a lot. So this will run a long time with just what we have already. And I could build more kilns, but uh, considering how few dwarves we have, I don't want to... Uh, We, we have a worker shortage as it is. And I think the game might be... This might be the end of the game because of a bug where these guys... Well, they, they are... They are making their way towards the edge of the map, so maybe they will leave. I don't know. I don't... I, they should have already long gone... But if they leave the map, maybe it will... They, they're just really slow to get over there. I don't know. It's already midsummer. I don't know. Maybe it'll work out. I don't know. Now that power generated that we're using for the millstone, it can also be used for other things. It can be used for um, a water, uh, no, I think the water wheel generates, is another way of generating power, but that requires a river or something. We don't have a river on this map. Um, but you can power a screw pump with this power. Um, you can set things up. You can uh, rollers. Um, that's something to do with mine. Mine carts. You can have mine carts being powered with rollers. Uh, but that that's a lot of elaborate uh, stuff. takes a lot of, you gotta, uh, it's not a very simple thing to do. So that's, that's very advanced for, um, very, uh, if you know what you're doing, if you're a very advanced player, you can do a lot of 
nifty stuff like that. And I'm not that advanced. I'm not a, that advanced at all at this game. And if you've watched this, these videos, then you know that I, there's a lot I still need to learn when it comes to this game. Now, please leave the map. I uh, could set these bedrooms up now. I should have done that a long time ago. Shirt. Box. Okay. Furniture. Bed. Okay, you will get the, the saguaro one. Uh, there's various qualities. I don't know who... Sh somebody might be jealous if they don't get a, a uh, the best one, but whatever. I can't, you know, it's going to be what it is. Somebody's going to get the green the green glass uh, cabinet. Everybody else is just going to get shirt, though. smooth that out too, why not? Okay, what's our glass block? We got 137. We've made uh, some bricks too. I don't think you need to glaze them, and I don't even know if you can glaze bricks. Uh, they're worth 15, and they're renewable, like the, uh, oh, I don't want to dig through that. Uh, I get, did we exhaust, what, what, what happened to the, um, making blocks continuously. What happened to making the raw glass? Okay, I guess they alternate. They make 10 of this, then we make 10 of that. All right, whatever, 
sure. I don't. Um, um, and we got a lot of gems. And what you can do with gems is you can encrust things. You can encrust finished goods. With. Cut glass. Or you, or you can do it with furniture. Um. The amount of cut glasses greater than 10, then do that. If the amount of improvable finished good items is greater than 1, or actually, um, Just do it if you can. He's bringing the gems and this amulet. And this is a masterful shirt amulet. And it, it even says who made it, which dwarf made it. And it's worth 50. And that, because it's masterful, that has this symbol. And I think that's the highest quality. Because you even get a notification when, when the masterpiece stuff is made. Because it doesn't happen very often. So this is very valuable. That's worth 50. And these glass gems are worth 40. And he's going to combine them together. So each each part that's that's 90 gems of material. What what is the what is it going to be when it's all put together though? That's the question. It better be worth more than 90 whatever he makes otherwise it wasn't worth it okay and this is the end product and you can see it's got these weird symbols and stuff. It's worth a uh, hundred. So it didn't increase the value that much. It, it it's worth ten dwarf bucks more than the sum of its parts. So I don't think it was really worth that the amount of time it took him to do that. I don't know. But anyway, what's done is done. On the item is a finely designed image of two mountains in green glass by Logum. See, he might not be very skilled. So a, a more qualified... Uh, see, she's encrusting this... This is a well-crafted. It's only worth 14. And these gems, glass gems, are worth 40. So it needs to be worth more than 54. Or else it wasn't worth it. But her 
skills. Okay, that's going to be like a gym. Uh, she's a dabbling gym cutter, so I don't expect I don't expect her to to do a, anything particularly great with this, but we can watch and see what happens. Well, she already it's already done. And now this guy's doing it and uh, he's a novice. He might do he might do a better job, I don't know. I you can set only your um, yeah, that would be gym setting. That would be this skill. Gym setting. Um, as it's set right now, every dwarf is able to do gym setting. But you can change that to the on only selected dwarves do it. Or you can have it so nobody does it. But as it stands right now, nobody is really skilled at doing it. But we could have, let's say we had a, a, a legendary gym setter. Um, so we could set it so that only that dwarf is allowed to do it. And that way we would always get good results at this. But we don't have any, any dwarves that are really skilled at it, so um, we can let them, every dwarf do it and level up until we get somebody who's good. And then we can get better results. Now the green, the glass, as a gem, it's not particularly valuable, but it's a good way to, to, pr for them to practice. Um, so if you had something like diamonds, uh, you can have your best ones working on it. Okay, we got, this is, this is getting out of the hand. Um, you know, the, the, these, uh, buffaloes, they're, they're, we're getting a lot, too many of them. So if we wanted to control this this explosion of population, we can uh, you know do this thing or this thing to eliminate to reduce their numbers, or we could sell them to merchants if we ever get merchants again. We will. These guys are still dicking around here on the map and not leaving. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. Like I said, this game might be ruined. I don't know. This might be the last video. Because this weird bug happened. It might be worth it to just start over again anyway. I don't know. But, I you know, I learned... I don't know if anybody watched this or anything. And if you did, maybe you learned something too. But I... About the windmills and all that. I learned different things. So, I don't know. This might be the last episode. I might continue it. I don't know. Um, I'll... I think I'll play till autumn and see what happens when the next caravan comes. And if if it if it if the problem doesn't work out, then I'll have to end this game. But anyway, 
Whether this is the last video or not, thanks for watching and have a great day.